So this is a complete mummified wolf pup. We can see her ears with little tufts of hair. Yukon paleontologist Grant Zazula calls this little gray wolf remarkable. We almost never find mummified animals like this with skin and flesh. It was found a few years ago while gold miners were blasting a wall of permafrost. And realizing the little pup could be important, Neil Loveless put it in a gold pan and put it in the freezer. When Zazula picked it up, he knew it was more valuable than gold. But before his team could begin their work, the ancient animal was honored by the Trundakwichin First Nation, on whose traditional territory it was found. Elders gathered together quite quickly and um, they wanted to show respect with um, with this baby um, baby wolf, uh, which we call um, uh, Little Zhur now, uh, which in Han language it means uh, Little Wolf. The scientists started calling her Zhur as well. So the first thing we did was radiocarbon data to find out how old she is. And then we reached out to geneticists for, to look at the ancient DNA. So we were able to extract and sequence a complete genome to understand its genetic history. Scientists determined she was just seven weeks old when she died 57,000 years ago. And genetic testing reveals she isn't related to contemporary North American wolves, but rather Ice Age wolves from Russia. When we did her x-rays, we found out we, she still even has all her organs intact, which is incredible. So she's basically like 100% intact. Researchers even determined her last meal, another surprise, salmon, not bison or caribou as they had expected. The findings are so significant, they were put on the cover of this month's scientific journal, Current Biology. But as rare as this ancient wolf pup is, scientists say with global warming and more permafrost melting, they're expecting more Ice Age treasures like her to emerge from the mud. Cheryl Kawaja, CBC News, Whitehorse.